Hi, and welcome to Product Spotlight. I'm IFA editor Sarah Kendall. With Australia's interest rates at record lows and tipped to drop again as the economy faces the full impact of the COVID crisis, it's important for advisors to re reassess how they construct portfolios for retiree clients. Joining me to discuss how advisors and retiree clients can navigate the unique challenges of today's retirement investment market is Jackie Lennon, Allianz Retire Plus Head of Product and Customer Experience. Jackie, thanks for being here today. Thanks, Sarah. It's great to be here. Um, now, with interest rates both at home and around the world likely to remain at this sort of ultra low level for some time, um, what does this mean for retiree portfolios? So despite what most retirees think, it means cash is not king any longer because you're not going to be able to generate sufficient returns out of a cash portfolio. Back in the good old days, you used to be able to construct a portfolio that was sort of 60-40 and that would give you lovely returns of 7.5% with a nice small standard deviation. But these days to generate that 7.5% return, you're going to need a portfolio that's 96% growth assets. So you're going to have to go crazy on the growth assets to really replace some of those high yielding defensive assets. So really um, what it means in interest rate environments where they're so low is that uh, retirees really need to look for alternatives of investments. And um, I guess, you know, if you're talking about the fact that sort of 60-40 can't really be, you know, the classic sort of insurance policy that it once was, um, do they also, do retiree also, clients also need to worry about, um, you know, over allocating to growth or high risk assets? Yeah, unfortunately, retirees are really stuck here. So they can't go too defensive because we know that's not going to generate returns. So they need to move into growth assets. But those people in the early stages of retirement are really susceptible to sequencing risk or um, the, basically the risk that the share market will drop early in their retirement. And we know that if you have a negative impact on your share portfolio early in your retirement, you're never going to cover. Your retirement will be different forevermore. So while we've got these retirees who are moving out of cash into growth assets, they really need to be thinking about this sequencing risk and really trying to work out how to mitigate that sequencing risk in their now more growth-oriented portfolio. And the other problem that retirees have, um, you know, is that the pain of watching their portfolio go down is far more extreme in retirement than it is in um, in that accumulation stage. So we know most people, like you and I, still in accumulation stage, we feel the pain of a loss twice as much as we feel the joy of a gain. But once you get to retirement and you know that there's no more money coming into that pot, you start feeling that pain a lot more. In fact, it flies out to about 10 times. So retirees are feeling that pain, that loss, 10 times more than they feel the joy of a gain. So sitting there and watching their portfolio go down is an extremely upsetting event for them. So it's a really tough time, um, particularly in a global pandemic, to be thinking about constructing appropriate retirement portfolios. They're going to give the return but feel okay for the retiree as well. I guess I'm just talking about that sort of emotional aspect of things. Um, you know, in terms of the behavioural factors, um, you know, in an investment market like the one that we're currently sort of experiencing, um, how can advisors work with retiree clients to make sure that they avoid sort of making costly mistakes um, from an emotional decision? Yeah, a friend of mine who works in an industry fund told me you could pick the top of the market and a bottom of the market. He said it was really easy. You could pick the top of the market because that was the point when everyone moved out of cash and into shares and you could pick the bottom of the market because that was the point when you had the most number of people moving out of shares and into cash. So unfortunately, we're terrible at reading the timing of the markets. And we know that retirees also have this kind of that pain and that loss. So you're starting to see when the mar you're getting market volatility that they're making really short-term knee-jerk reactions and moving all their money out of shares into to cash and not staying there for the longer term. Now, you really need to be there in the longer term to get the benefit of the shares, the, the, those growth assets. Um, so you need, from an advisor's perspective, some of the sorts of things that they could actually do is when they're moving retirees into a growth portfolio, really talking about volatility and assessing how they're going to feel about um, the share market going up and down. When it does happen, I know lots of advisors are really great at talking their clients through, um, calming them down, trying to move them away from their instinctive reaction, which is sell, 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 get me out of this. Um, and then in a really extreme example, which I haven't seen many of advisors adopt, but I would recommend it for some clients, is actually removing some of their access to, um, to check their balances all the time retirees are in the situation where they've got lots of free time um, and when I go and talk to retirees often they'll tell me that they go in and check the balance you know daily weekly frequently one of the guys was telling me that even though the balance doesn't change during the day because it only prices overnight 
he would still go in multiple times during the day to look at his, his balance. So these people are feeling really freaked out and they make terrible decisions. So if you could actually remove some of their access and tell them not to check it, I think that would be kind of a bold but really useful way to help retirees um, reduce some of that tension and that emotional upset that they have when they see their portfolios moving around so much. Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of the opposite of the accumulation investor who they need to be more engaged. Right. It's actually they need to be less engaged. Yeah, exactly. You just want to kind of calm it all down and mm-hmm. stop looking. Um, yeah, hiding it away from you, I think is a good idea. It's kind of, you know, it's a dieting technique as well, right? Don't put the chocolate at the front mm-hmm. of the fridge. Hide it away because, you know, uh, it's not that useful for you. So I think we could learn a lot about that in mm-hmm. terms of um, portfolio construction. Um, and how about sort of use of modelling as well? Um, how can advisors use modelling to sort of engage and reassure retiree clients about sort of the future of their investments and sort of, you know, different options that they might find? Yeah, so as I was um, talking about, it's really important when an advisor is putting clients into growth portfolios to really be talking through the different range of returns, the possible outcomes that that may happen and to get the client feeling really comfortable with that because the last thing you want is a client um, experiencing shocks and surprises, whether they're good surprises or bad surprises, really there's no such thing as good surprises in this environment. So we've been really surprised, or probably not surprised, but um, one of the challenges that advisors have is that many of the tools out there at the moment only allow them to do t- deterministic modelling. So really just model to the average return, to the average life expectancy. And I think retirees would be surprised but maybe horrified to realise that actually the beautiful graphs that their advisor has given them, well, there's a 50% chance that it's going to be worse than that. And as we know, retirees are conservative and they want to plan for worst case events. So it's disappointing that at the moment advisors haven't really been able to have rich conversations with their retiree clients about the possible range of returns. So we've um, got a tool out there at the moment which allows people to simulate a whole range of returns. So through stochastic modelling, you can see the range of returns at that 50th percentile. So on average, where do you think you'll end up? But then if you wanted to be more conservative and make sure that you were definitely going to have enough money to last through your lifetime, it allows you to model to the 90th and 95th percentile of confidence. And I actually think having that conversation with a retiree is really important because then they can really see the trade-offs that they're making in retirement and feel that sense of confidence so that less likely to panic and they're less worried about things because they say on average it's good but even in the worst case at the 95th percentile I'm still feeling confident that that's going to be good enough for me. Absolutely um, and tell us a bit about the um, Allianz Retire Plus sort of um, future safe range and how it can help um, retiree clients to manage the current sort of risks and challenges in the market. Yeah, so our product is designed specifically for retirees. I mean, I guess that's in our brand, Alliance Retire Plus. And this product is really looking at that sequencing risk that I was talking about earlier. So it gives that great combination of access to market returns, so access to growth assets, but putting some protection into the, the product as well. And the way it works is you can choose what level of protection you want, whether you want to have your maximum loss being minus 10%, whether your maximum loss is minus 5 or maximum loss is 0%. Um, which gives you that sense if you can choose how comfortable you are because some people are more risk accepting than others. And then with each floor, so that minus 10% floor, you get an associated cap. Um, and the more risk you have on the bottom, the more upside you get at the top as well. And what we do is we'll credit to your account at the end of each year, whatever the market, the share market has delivered between your floor and your cap. So you're really getting that market linked return. So access to growth assets, which we know is important, but you're getting that protection to avoid that sequencing risk, which we know can be so, um, so terrible, particularly in those early years of retirement. So it's a really great retirement solution that brings together the power of protection and growth into one solution. And we think it's, um, it's an, something that every retiree should be really considering in today's environment, given where we are with the, the global pandemic, really, and the interest rate environments, which look like they're going to be here for a long time. Absolutely. Well, there's certainly a lot of challenges out there for retirees at the moment. Um, great to hear a bit more about some of the strategies you guys have. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Sarah. It's been great to be here. And that's all for today's Product Spotlight. Uh, please do follow us on socials through LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. And if you have any written feedback, the email for that is editor at ifa.com.au. We'll see you again soon.